Hi there, so today I'm going to just do a quick review or a look at the uh, um, gating or JBoss portal. Um, as you know, a portal is a, is a page like this, or a web page, that contains several port portlets or gadgets or widgets or whatever you want to call them. You know, that could be a widget and that could be a widget. That could be one and, you know, in this case even the footer and the, and the menu and, and this header here are all little portlets running on you. So, um, very simple. So, you, you, you need to understand though, you know, you don't have to show this sign in or, or, or any of that. This can be totally customized and look just like a normal web page, you know, and, and doesn't have to contain all of this stuff. So, JBoss uh, um, Portal. I uh, got the community edition over here that is really just um, uh, um, uh, um, running inside Tomcat. So it's Tomcat 7 with this installed. It's a normal Tomcat. Uh, this little application here called uh, gating.sh and you can run it or uh, same as Catalina run. Um, it has a, um, a, a, a normal uh, web apps folder and in there are all these little wars and these are all the little gadgets and portlets and widgets and things that you see on that page so you know one little thing can be uh, you can have a, a skin or you can have a uh, you know administration of course but then you can also have a, a portlet a little thing that appears so um, to really start it as you can just run gate in run you know so you can start it so um, Let's see, it started. It has started. So, um, you know, there's the, the basic um, application of, of, a, of a portal page. Um, I'm going to sign in here as a, um, um, the, uh, uh, um, an administrator of the highest level, really. So, um, again, you don't have to make this available to somebody, but I'm going to sign in and, and you'll see various new menus here. As an administrator, of course, I have uh, several things for for a user. You can have links, for instance, or as a uh, organization, you can um, edit users, for instance, if you wanted to assign new users. So you can say, well, you know, there's a, a username and, and um, e you know, um, the email address, that kind of thing. You can have groups meaning you can have customers and inside customers there might be people or partners or people from a platform or whatever you know there's two managers for instance assigned over there or guests or um, you know just normal users and um, then of course you can also um, you know do membership and, and, and all of that kind of stuff so that kind of stuff exists um, then also um, you know as an administrator you can have application management page management services and imports and redirects so let's let's do the first thing and, and go create a new site so I'm gonna go into manage sites and I'm gonna add a new portal site here and I'll just call it test site uh, let's just copy that I'll call it test site and we'll call it a test site okay and uh, it's gonna be English and I'm just gonna use um, you know a simple skin or you can you know you can install some of these skins so I'll use the responsive skin so um, under properties I'm gonna say um, the session should be on demand show the info bar this is all kind of stuff you can do then permissions hey let's make this public anybody can really see it but who can edit it maybe a uh, platform only a platform manager can edit it okay then the template well let's use this mobile template which uses um, bootstrap so um, there's a template I can save it and from now on there's a thing called test site so if I were to go up here test site if I were to go in there and there's my site it's a brand new site called test site um, and it's already set up so um, if I were to log out of this of course there's the page 
and um, you know it, it's just like any other site I haven't created new p uh, pages um, because it copied over the, the, the template it has two pages really it has a home and a features page so let's sign in again um, root so um, if I were to go uh, into manage sites again um, here's my test site I can um, of course edit the layout I can edit navigation and add you know pages and, and that kind of stuff so there's a, a lot of stuff there there's the config we just looked at um, there's also um, a, a layout which really is this is what the layout looks like so in my specific site you know what I'm going to remove this portlet header over here um, and I'm going to say remove that and I'm only going to end up with a navigation uh, and a footer and the actual page in the middle right so I'm going to save that and um, if I were to go uh, uh, back to a test site um, and um, well I can't uh, I sign out of there and there's what I'm talking about now it's just a normal website uh, and there's not a sign in at the top or, or, or anything like that and now it's just you know a normal website so um, because I removed that portal or portlet at the top okay so going back to here I'm gonna sign in again okay so now after login let's go look at a few other administration features um, if we were to go into and um, you'll see it from a menus here too so here's a um, site redirects um, it's one of the things that it has and um, it really gives you the ability to um, um, let's for instance say the mobile site or of a classic site let's say it has a redirect in there that says um, if uh, your uh, a, a mobile condition contains iPhone or iPod or or mobile or Android or phone or a tablet then uh, you know redirect the guy to the mobile site so you can you can add that kind of uh, thing uh, um, itself or um, you know to a, a, a node if you started off by this node then redirect you to that node or um, you know there's, there's this basic um, mapping type thing so um, you know if, if uh, um, you know there's a, there's a few of, of these available um, and um, so you know property and contains iPhone and you have to use an agent for instance so it's it's not as advanced as maybe say something like uh, backbase but it has the basic concepts um, that's redirecting um, in terms of uh, um, spaces you know you can export them and, and re-import them somewhere else that kind of that kind of thing so um, that's the redirecting thing um, if we were to um, look further there's services you know um, there's a skin service or a template service you know there's a portlet controller that's just normal services stuff um, then um, you can also look at uh, page management and application registry so let's look uh, quickly at customizing this page or this site that's the one we created there so um, if I were to uh, uh, go and say well let's look at the page or, or uh, we looked at the page editor and that really is as um, a banner a um, portlet featured portlet and a community so that's inside the page itself meaning um, if we were to look at the uh, layout there's a header and a footer we have a, re a navigation header and a footer and a page in the middle so that's a layout and then we can say um, uh, um, the actual page itself inside that middle piece the actual page there's a, a, a banner there's a featured portlet and a community portlet so I can you know I'm gonna go and remove these and uh, <coughs> make the page basically uh, blank so if I if I save this if I go back to the page you know there it is there's nothing on it 
Um, there's our, our featured, that's a second page, I can go edit that page as well. But the main page, um, oops, sorry, uh, the, the main page, sorry, I changed to uh, change the, I clicked to change the site, but there's nothing. So let's go look at developing something for this. So the first thing you can do, of course, is you can add a, um, uh, um, a, a portlet, or, uh, well, let's call it a widget or, or, or a gadget to a page. So if I were to go and um, go look at my application registry, and this is where all the applications are registered, there's uh, gadgets and there's portlets. So a gadget is something like uh, this. Here's, here's one that, that I created, and you can just create a new gadget right here. So this gadget all it really is is um, it has a little bit of uh, a descriptor XML at the top and and uh, something at the bottom and and all it says is hello world and you know that's maybe the output. How are you today? You know something like that. And of course this can uh, um, uh, con con contain a little bit of JavaScript if you wanted it to. You know. Um, Let's save that one and let's look maybe at uh, at another uh, a gadget. Here's here's something that's maybe a little bit more. Um, um, you know, let's write just a, uh, a a small little piece of JavaScript. So you can see this one contains a whole set of JavaScript. Let's go back to this one, and we edit it, and maybe it says that, and then it executes a JavaScript that says alert, hello. Um, and that's a piece of JavaScript. But you know, knowing that in here you can insert jQuery and do a call out to a backend, or you can insert um, you know uh, um, Angular or, or or anything like that. Um, but this page, what's nice about it is I can create it on the fly. So it's this Hello World gadget I created. So if I go back to my site um, and I go into my edit my page, I can now say well. Let's take this hello world guy. Well, well, first of all, let's 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 do this. Let's add a container. Well, I've already added hello world there now. Um, let's add a uh, container like a, a, a tab or a column. Let's add a two-column container to this page, and uh, maybe uh, well, we can save that and. There you can see the hello world, and there's the hello world application actually running. <coughs> but um, let's go edit this page again, and um, well, let's drop in. Um, let's drop in uh, the hello world over here as well, and let's go remove this one. So this hello world, um, and now I can edit it. So I can say, you know what? Same as the other, I don't want to show an info bar, or or I can show, I let, let's say, uh, info bar, and I give it, let's say, that icon, and then I can say, you know what, uh, make it a uh, simple style, and make it violet, uh, and make it public. So, in that case, if I now uh, were to go and save this, you'd see, there's my JavaScript executing, and there's my little Hello World application. So, uh, uh, um, again, so uh, uh, but I can also change this and say, you know what, I don't want that banner thing, and I and uh, um, <coughs> I don't want it skinned. Um, so in in this case, now all it really is, it's going to execute that little piece of JavaScript. So um, back to uh, editing the JavaScript, um, I can go uh, edit Hello World, and on the fly I can change it here and say, you know what. Just uh, don't do the JavaScript part. Maybe just do uh, execute uh, H2, and um, just to show that I can, um, uh, um, you know, print out some some HTML over there. So I can just edit a page just like that. So if I went back to my uh, site over here, there you are. So I've got that little uh, uh, um, uh, gadget on there, and I can change it even in runtime. So again, if I were to um, sign out over here, that's really all I'll see as, uh, you know, that's all that's on my page. That's all that I, I put on that page, okay. So um, the next thing is, um, let's go, um, 
log in again and, and uh, uh, there we go we'll log in again and uh, but this time let's look at not just uh, um, um, that was uh, um, uh, looking at a, a gadget but let's go look at the portlet so a portlet is a little bit different a gadget is really something that runs inside the web browser uh, inside the, yeah, the, the, the web browser itself you can put it on there but a portlet is really served by the by the application server and in that case um, let's just uh, uh, do do the, the simple one first here's a, here's a small portlet and uh, all that this portlet really does is it's a basic structure there's a source and I compile that into a web in folder there's a uh, three files there's a gate in resource file which I just described I call it verve portlet response of verve portlet and I give some style sheet here's the portlet which is part of a specification the portlet specification and then yeah I'm just saying you know um, it has a view mode only and it belongs to system and it will produce text HTML um, and then there's the normal web.xml which is um, just part of how, you know this Tomcat serving it or or JBoss portal serving it so this little guy I uh, I uh, actually build it and I end up with a little um, I end up with a little war file which I deploy to the web in folder so once that's there it becomes available here as a um, responsive uh, uh, portlet I can um, actually go in here and I can say portlets and um, <coughs> uh, um, it, it then becomes available over here and now so that portlet really simple portlet so if I were to go back to my uh, my test site over here um, I can actually then go and say you know I want to edit this page and uh, next to this I don't want to put a, uh, um, a, 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 a gadget I actually want to put a, um, a portlet and this is this little um, responsive viv portlet and I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna stick it next to you here and um, as we saw from the code all that this portlet really will do in um, its source class and that's this little guy and you can see it just extends generic portlet and it's gonna write hello viv just gonna print that out of course this portlet could have done anything I could have called you know a hundred services or databases or all sorts of things in the back end and produce an output so um, here comes the output and it's going to display over there so if I save that now suddenly I am um, looking at this page and there's the hello viv okay I um, still got this thing skinned so uh, this guy I'm gonna say uh, I don't want the info bar um, so save and close that save that and now all of a sudden there's the output of that piece of Java code that was executed on the back end so uh, taking this one step further um, you can actually build interactive things and um, and that's the um, I've created a little app over here and I called it uh, um, with a hello app and in this case um, the structure is basically the same there's a little application um, and I took this from a sample but it really uh, is very simple you know it has a do view a do help a do edit and a process action and there you know I'm reading a value and I'm reading your name and I'm defining you know where do you go if you do a help display the help.jsp jsp help to display or, or dispatch that um, if you do edit go do there um, uh, you know um, those are the standard functions inside the UI maybe you want to help on it and I can display a help page or display some edit page but the, the, the main ones are the do view one so um, I will uh, <coughs> if, if my name's not available show hello uh, or or uh, um, otherwise show welcome you know that kind of thing so on uh, JSP pages again the edit and help is just generic help pages I'll, I'll show you that uh, while you're editing it but here's the uh, here's the two main pages welcome maybe welcome you know there's a few ways you can do this you can you can pass in parameters via um, 
and li like this says um, uh, um, various ways you can um, here's for instance a form and I'll go show you executing this form now how to enter the value your name so um, very simple this is really very simple stuff um, exactly the same we have uh, the resources the portlet and the only difference really in this portlet is this this application doesn't just have a view it also has an edit and a help so uh, um, uh, very simple so again this gets warred up into a war file and the war file you just copy into the web apps folder once it's in a web apps folder I can now go edit this page and um, now suddenly under my system there's also a, a, a little application available called the VAP. so um, I'm going to stick this uh, guy maybe underneath there and I'm gonna edit it and uh, this guy <coughs> I'm gonna take that away and you see there's the the help that I could have entered when I developed it or over edit mode um, I'm going to take that bar away I'm not there's no ac uh, icon everybody has access to it I'm gonna save it there it is my little portlet if I save this now you will see that there's the little portlet executing so um, I can maybe send in Vivian over here that's the form that I showed you if, if we were to go back to the code um, there's the um, on on um, the welcome page you know there's there's that little guy there's the actual form with the input uh, and and you can see my URL my action URL those are all red and it's a post and I can read the values so I'm reading the value Vivian and I submit that and this page renders again and says we like you Vivian and uh, um, the, the, the response was of course generated out of this that says you know um, uh, display the welcome file um, and once you fill in a value and you and you submit it then display this that says remember we like you and the parameter so you're building almost an application now you can build an application with input forms that talks to the back end and the back end you know instead of just you know bringing the the, the uh, uh, rendering the, the the hello page it could have rendered uh, you know called the back end and done a authentication or a username and a pass or gone and called the service and and come back with a display uh, you know th this code is executed on on the app server or or in this case tomcat but it could have been jboss and then there's the output again so um you know so now it's a little application that lives inside this page you know and and i can i can send things like that or I, you know i can i can send it with a link whatever it becomes a fully fledged backend application actually running on my page over here there's my little gadget running I, I mean my my layout doesn't make much sense here maybe I can just move this guy to the top here and um, <coughs> say that so there's my little application now and I can say test submit and it says remember we like you test so this page is in runtime consists out of a uh, JavaScript type uh, a gadget over here uh, this guy was actually executed uh, um, uh, um, a different way. This piece is executed from a backend. So this page contains out of uh, you know uh, consists out of many many pieces. And again, if if I were to log out, um, you know I could I don't have to have that management capabilities, um, um, but I could. Um, the last thing I just want to show is um, you could, um, for instance. Um, you could go in here and and assign somebody um, like like that person. You could assign them a uh, an application. Uh, well, if we go to uh, um, my test site again, mm, test site. So I I go in there and, and I'm gonna go edit my page and um, I will assign this guy maybe a um, a uh, portlet dashboard so I, I will assign him that so um, what this says is now all of a sudden this guy is a whole dashboard 
of which he can assign his own gadgets. So he can say, you know what, I want Hello World there, I want um, uh, um, all, all sorts of gadgets I made I made available, or and I want a calculator there, or calendar there, and I want a calculator over here. And there you go, um, this, pay, this person can now design his own page, um, because I gave him access to that application. Um, and um, so he can move his own um, you know his own uh, uh, portlets around so um, you know th there's various things he can do here again if we wanted to skin this or not skin this I've taken the skin away and now it's more like a, a normal page where he can add his own gadgets and on the same page again my little application still running which calls the back end. These are all front end type guys. This guy is coming from a front end. This guy is coming from a back end. I mean, the page. I we, we you you can really design what you want here. Um, other things that's available um, to the uh, um, uh, to the administrators really page management, application services, redirects, organization. You can add users you wanted somebody to to log in you can give people access to blogs or, or you know links or, or whatever you can manage groups um, you can add pages really I mean this is this is most of the stuff that that we typically do we, we you know is 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 available here and uh, you know at the end of the day you wouldn't even know that this was really a portal site it could just be a, a site with various little applications on it. So uh, thank you very much and um, let me know uh, if, if you got any any questions. Thank you.